Okay, welcome back, Let's Dolphers. We're here today for the non-boring Borium Review. <laughs> What's up, Les Dolphers? We're here today with a very special disc review, Borium. These are brand spanking new, made with science, from what I understand. Apparently, the fastest discs in the world. Gonzo, what do you think? Um, it's interesting for sure. So they've made the rim this kind of uh, teardrop shape and that should be more aerodynamic. It is a 14 speed and we do have, so we have two in the Alpha Solid, the uh, Founders Edition one here, which is a bit more domey. Alpha and Solid, that's the plastic that this yeah, is. Yeah. And then, Good feeling uh, plastic, feels kind of softer, kind of uh, opto lucid kind of style. Yeah, and then this uh, Chameleon one is flatter. So I think we'll have a, maybe a different flight between the two of them. Six glide. Yep. Negative one turn and three fade, so. Uh, first impressions, I'll say, the rim doesn't really feel like a 14 speed rim. I don't know if I throw anything no, that it's is a 14 it's like, speed. The way it curves around with that teardrop shape makes it feel smaller. Yeah. So you might like it if you have a smaller hand. However, the curve also, it feels, on initial grip, it feels a little shallow, like hard to get a good grip on, but we'll see. So you ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's Dolph. First throw, here we go. Made with science. Yeah, so it's that one is for sure understable because that tanked over. Right, it's off. That's Look a, at that science juice. That's a bad throw, air. unfortunately. Well, they both like to turn, it looks like. That one has a bit of finish, though. I don't know, man. It's, it's certainly understable. That was also nose up. A little nose up again, so. so it's holding that turn, reliable finish. Deal with a little bit of mud and wetness right now. Not making excuses, but it is a little bit uncomfortable. But I'm gonna try to give this the best college try for everyone. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that's the understable one. better. What did I even eat? Why are they so low? Uh, a little nose up. I feel like that was the best rip I got, but I just didn't get it on the flat line I wanted. Give you a review for Adidas waterproof shoes. I like that one for sure. <laughs> I'm liking what I'm feeling here. I'm still a little bit miffed about the rim, but. <laughs> Nose up. That's lower. Oh, that's not his nose up. Not his nose up, but not full rip. <sighs> Off the tip. It's probably my favorite one so far. 
Ah, oh, it slipped. Adios, sorry. Better. Ah, oh, boo. Mm, I like this. Hook up now. Yes. Pull out. Same spot. <laughs> it's only about 483. That's about as far as I throw them, it seems like. That fades out. I'll like See, they it. give you that nice flip up, and then it gives you that reliable finish, just like that. That's maybe... It doesn't seem to be gliding as much was, as no, was promised. That's what I'm uh, noticing. For how that flew, that went like four. 50 at least, I would say, maybe 480. Yeah. Like, honestly, I don't think I can do much better than that today, and I don't, I'm not hitting that tree line. It's gonna overturn now. What a. Mm. Yeah, that's right in the trees. <laughs> I didn't get that one to turn all the way. <laughs> Oh, if I got more turn, ah, oh, still be I, good. He went grass like some kind of renegade. Yeah, that actually finally felt like a full rip. So just throws for reference. Tony Sheriff, giant just over here. Yeah, that's so not nice shot right there. Ah, uh, that's diving. It's something I don't. Hmm. Oh, stay off. That might be... I'm eager to see how far that one went. Boom. I Here's love this. Here's ace run. This uh, is it. It held oh, too much. Oh, yeah. It just held. Damn. There's the giant... Just the... Basically the exact opposite side of where I landed before. This is my... So that your Boreum has done good. When they, when they say that it can fly, you know, long and far on low ground, I've pictured this hole for it. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of the throw you were just talking about. I wonder how close we got. That's right where you put that giant. I think. All right, here is a good Boreum throw. Just, just back a little bit. Let's go, Boreum. It just feels like I wasn't able to grip and rip it like I wanted to. Oh, it needs oh, a turn. Oh, should be good too. Look at that nice swing. See, this is what I like about the Boreum. Shots like that. Wow, guys, we did it. We came out, we threw Boreum. The science disc, the disc that's made with science. The fastest, farthest gliding, furthest flying disc you've ever seen. Well, Johnny, is that the case? To me, in the end, this is basically right in line with a lot of other discs that I have or have thrown. Uh, we picked a couple holes today that we've thrown a lot off of. So we have a lot of reference for how far we normally get down on those holes. And I, I was expecting that even though the tees were maybe a little bit wet, that we would get to, you know, just push a little bit beyond, especially on the downhill one, I was hoping we would hit 500 at least once or twice. Um, I even threw your giant for reference. And again, I don't think any of my Borium throws went farther than that giant. Yeah. So uh, uh, here's what I would say. <clears throat> I think for a uh, lower speed arm, these would be great, uh, a great distance driver because they seem to have a really reliable turn on them. This is definitely the more understable one. I found for this a uh, really reliable turn, really reliable finish, really. They don't glide like I was expecting them to. I, I don't know what it is. They kind of seem to, I'm uh, just throwing my Sheriff or my Ballista for reference. I feel like those are just going and going and going and these things kind of, they give you that turn and you're thinking, oh wow, this is going to be a full flight. 
and then they fade out and it just it never seemed to go as far as I was expecting. So in terms of being the farthest flying disc, I'm not really sure I could say that's the case. Another issue I kind of had with it, uh, this rim, while not being as much of an issue, like holding it, it doesn't feel that bad. The plastic still feels really good. Certainly when I grab one of my discs that doesn't have this rounded rim, it, it, I, I would describe it as coming home <laughs> in a sense. Like it feels much more comfortable in my hand than I would say that this Borium does. And I did have a few slip out throws, which I think I would attribute to this kind of rounded rim. I think it's cool what they're doing with, uh, you know, just to branch out, there's so much uh, similar stuff in disc golf these days. So I really appreciate what they're doing, finding different things. The hydrogen putter, Trying which I stuff. also uh, crowdfunded that as well. Find so far for me, nothing is quite meshed with what I'm looking for, especially with this. I was very excited. I like the idea of that low flying disc that will just go farther. Uh, I know we're going to test it more and maybe in the summer, especially once what's the summer now, isn't it? But it's wet on a drier day, drier you know, day, see how it goes. And, and I'm going to do more comparison with my ballistic pros, but we want Louv to keep doing what we're, what they're doing. And we think it's, it's a great idea to try to take a little bit of, uh, they're experimenting know how and experiment with the discs. They are good see discs, can but do. Yeah, there's been... no doubt that these are good discs, good plastic. They feel great. They throw great. Excited for what they keep doing. Silicone's coming next. Yep. I don't know what that's going to be. Looking but... forward to that. We'll be, uh, we'll be at the front of the line for that too. Okay guys, thanks for checking it out.